Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today, I'm going to cover generative AI use cases in CLIMB's adjudication process. This is going to be a part 2 video because I have covered few use cases in my part 1 itself. As we know, CLIMB adjudication is the heart of CLIMB's processing. So it's very important that we understand all these use cases. The first one I wanted to talk is compliance check. We all know PNC insurance is a highly regulated industry, which means it can be policy data, claims data, billing data, everything has to be sent to the Department of Insurance. So we have to have huge compliance process. If without generative AI, what can happen is somebody like adjusters have to look at the claim, make sure that there is no inaccuracy before reporting that to the Department of Insurance. With the generative AI, with the capability of having data in huge volume, it can make sure that the existing claims are all compliant with the Department of Insurance rules and regulations. Document analysis, right? Like, you know, you know when you are an adjuster, you get tons and tons and tons of document and today's world, they have to go through each one of them manually before even deciding on the claim status. With the generative AI, it can read n number of documents and create a summary document so that adjusters need not spend too much time. It doesn't mean that we will not need adjusters. There's a difference here, right? A lot of people have a misconception that you no know, generative AI is going to be taking away a lot of people's work. That's not the case. The goal here is to use generative AI as a complement to our day-to-day -day activities. In this case, if the adjusters are spending three days for a climb, they can now spend half a day and then work on other critical tasks. And then the image analysis, right? We all know AI has the capability to read the image, multiple images, and it can generate a you know, new image. In this case, the goal is to read all the images that we get from climate. It could be an image which we had in the accident location. It could be an image which was taken in any place. AI can read it and make sure that you know, what is the extent of the damage, etc, etc to predict it accurately instead of somebody looking at it manually. And then, oh, I forgot this, translate voice to text. So most of us, we know when you get a client, they report their client through interviews, etc. Sometimes when you use AI systems, it can convert those interviews or discussions into a text for future reference. Social media analysis, right? Like, like when you have a claim and adjuster wants to make sure that is it a fraudulent claim or is it a valid claim, etc. Nowadays people are very, you know, highly using Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. So it can read data from multiple sources like this and decide that is it the legitimate claim or is that anything missing in this claim, etc. Et Medical record analysis, right? In workers' compensation, people say that a lot of times there are the fraudulent claims because even though in the employee got injured for non-related works, they report as a work-related. So with generative AI having a capability to read huge number of data, they can look at the claim, make sure that is it repeated claim or is this claim having any fraudulent activity, etc., etc. Policy violation. Nowadays, without AI, what could happen is every time when there is a climb, adjuster have to depend on the policy administration system to make sure that is it a policy in effect or is it a coverage in place or if there is a coverage, is there any exclusions? A lot of manual work is involved. With the generative AI having a capability to look at various data sources, it can say or read a of data and give us a one-liner, yes, this climb is a valid climb or this climb is a not a valid climb with respect to policy. Sentiment analysis, right? A lot of people know when there is a climb, when an adjuster looks at it, like people, to make sure that the climb is processed correctly, the adjusters can look at the insurance review in other portals. Sentiment is basically how they have given review about their past insurance companies or anything like that, and then make sure that they process this climb so that customers are happy. At the end of the day, if the customers are happy, they are going to give, bring in new business and they are going to renew the policy, etc, etc. So sentiment analysis is a very important part of adjudication. Weather data analysis, right? Like people are seeing parametric insurance, lot of stuff, right? 
Nowadays, instead of adjusters looking at the climb, if the AI system is able to pull the data from various data sources regarding the weather, if there is a loss due to the weather, then we can immediately create a payment without adjuster looking at it, like parametric insurance is one of the good examples. Adjusters collaboration, right? Like there could be a big climb for commercial lines like workers comp, commercial auto, where three to four adjusters are looking at it. So instead of manually interacting, AI can make sure that they collect data from all these adjusters as a central repository where adjusters can look at it, make sure that they are processing the climb with up-to-date data. Again, as I told you, these are a subset of use cases that I am aware of. In general, generative AI can bring a drastic difference in climb's adjudication process. And uh, not only generative AI, sometimes machine learning, predictive analytics, etc., etc. The point here is using the data as our fuel to make informed decisions. I hope you like my videos. Thank you for your continuous support. Have a great day. Bye.